If you are thinking of buying a new laptop under 50,000 and you are uncertain whether it will be able to run all these softwares smoothly or not. You are also confused whether to get 8GB RAM or 16GB RAM laptop. And the most important question, should you get a laptop with a graphic card or not? If these are your concerns, then you are watching the right video. A very quick background, I am a working professional engineer who use these softwares on a daily basis. So let me quickly share 5 critical things that your laptop must have in order to run this software smoothly for at least upcoming 4 years. And at the end of the video, I will share the exact laptop model that you can buy around 50,000. And for the excited individuals who cannot wait till the end, I have already included the link in the description below. So let's get started. The number first and foremost important thing is RAM, random access memory. We know that initially the software is loaded into the RAM and then only we can start working on that software using the processor and graphic card. In today's day and age, all software have become RAM hungry. And if you have RAM less than 16 GB, then there is a great chance that your software will run slowly. There are many laptop companies which will tell you that 8 GB RAM is sufficient to run these softwares. But let me tell you, opening a software and running large projects files on it are two separate things. For example, here you can see these softwares without a project file and then with the project files being open. As soon as your project size increases, the RAM requirement of software doubles. We engineers also have a habit of running two softwares together for transferring data so the RAM requirements again shoots up. These are the things that students are not aware of and they end up buying a laptop with 8GB RAM and later on face a lot of speed issues. So a 16GB RAM in a new laptop is a must. The second most important piece of hardware is dedicated graphic card. Nowadays all the engineering softwares provide 3D drawing capabilities. And we all know that graphic card can draw graphics 2 to 3 times faster as compared to processor. This happens because the hardware structure of graphic card and processor are very different. Parallel versus series question. So for the smoother workflow, especially with the softwares like Revit BIM, 3D Max, V-Ray, Lumen and SketchUp, a dedicated graphic card is a must. Here it is important that you choose dedicated graphic card option as these are 10x faster than as compared to the integrated ones. So a 4GB NVIDIA GTX card is a good option. Do not fall for the integrated ones which comes attached with the processor. You will regret this decision later on. The third important piece of hardware is processor. As we all know processor is the brain of computer which performs all the calculation to keep the windows and other software running. Picking up a recent generation processor is the key here which will help us to make our laptop future proof and smooth running of software. Here we do not have to get into the debate of getting maximum number of cores in a processor. Instead we should focus on the base clock speed of a processor. For example, a processor having 4 cores with base clock speed of 3.6 GHz will perform much better than an 8 core processor having a base clock speed of just 2 GHz. Generally these days AMD Ryzen processors are performing better than Intel. So we will go with AMD Ryzen 5 series 5500H processor. Here H stands for high performance. Fourth important piece of hardware is SSD, solid state drive. Our computer hard disks consist of moving mechanical parts like rotating disk for storage and lever arm for reading and writing data. This mechanical way of storing and reading data makes our computer very slow. But if we shift towards a chip based storage solution like SSD then we can expect a 5 fold performance improvement in our laptop. So with SSD you can expect a faster opening time of softwares. Reading and writing data becomes very fast with this SSD. So I will highly recommend that you buy a laptop which has at least 500 GB of SSD in it. This one piece of hardware will turn out to be a game changer in terms of our laptop speed. We have arrived to the last point but not the least. A very important piece of hardware that your laptop must have 
is presence of numpad keys. Surprised? But let me tell you why it's important. We engineers enter data on daily basis with the help of these numerical keys. The inputs that we provide into the software, the calculations that we perform in Excel sheet all require entry through these numerical keys. But with the absence of numpad keys, we have to enter data through these horizontal numerical keys, which is very slow and inefficient process. But with the presence of numpad keys, the entry of data becomes very fast and efficient. So for an engineer in a laptop, the presence of numpad keys is very important. You should completely avoid those laptops which are not offering numpad keys. Finally, the moment has arrived that you were waiting for the ultimate laptop model reveal. Looking at all these five important factors, one laptop that serves all our need is Lenovo IdeaPad Gaming 3. It comes with 16 GB of RAM. It offers processor from AMD Ryzen 5 5500H. It has 6 core and with a base clock speed of 3.6 GHz. A very good processor for intense calculation. It also comes with dedicated 4 GB graphic card from NVIDIA GTX 2050. This graphic card will serve all your graphical needs. It also has 500 GB SSD in it and comes with a large size keyboard with a separate numpad key section for us. Also we know that Lenovo is known for its build quality. The same case is with this laptop. It has superior build quality. And one bonus, this laptop has very good thermals which help this laptop to remain cool under heavy loads. Let me tell you, heat is a laptop killer. So this bonus point will help this laptop to long last. Guys, this is an ingenious laptop. I would highly recommend this laptop who is looking for a hassle-free hardware which serves all their software needs on a daily basis and can last for 4 years without getting slow. For the interested one, I have put the link in the description below. And if you have any further doubts, you can put a comment below. I will be answering them. Till then, see you in the next video.